Power Records presents The Curse of the Werewolf. Even a man who's pure of heart and says his prayers at night may become a wolf when the wolfbane blooms and the moon is full and bright. The words seemed to echo in my skull. I struggled with something snarling and vicious within my soul. And when the madness passed... You! Hold it right there! What in the name of... Good Lord! The man I'd attacked was dead. Some sort of animal. But Lord, the way it runs, like a man. There was a bridge, a muddy river. I dived in, my shoulder afire, with the agony of a glancing bullet. My arm, my arm. Somehow I got away. Where am I? How did I get here? What is this place? I ran, I ran. Under the light of the bright full moon, I ran. I must find my way home. Why am I here? Why? My skin is burning. My thoughts unclear. Why am I here? But the night gave me no answer, and I felt my dark dream slipping, and in a moment, I awoke. No! What? I... I'm home again. That dream. Each time I have it, the dream grows worse. It almost seemed real. Today, I'm a full-fledged 18 years old. My arm was slashed, just as it had been cut in the dream by a policeman's bullet. Suddenly, it all came flooding back. That dream. Was it a dream? Lord, what if it was real? Jack, Jack, it's almost time for breakfast. Yeah, I know, Mom. I guess I don't feel very hungry. Maybe I'll just rest in my room today and think. I had plenty to think about. I didn't know what was bothering me exactly. When evening came, I headed for a lonely stretch of beach. I felt myself fall forward. My vision blurred and when it cleared, I saw a thing that made me scream. My hand. And in the sudden brilliance of unclouded moonlight, in the reflection of a muddy pool, I saw him for the first time. And I knew, I knew. <laughs> I was a werewolf. I have no way of knowing how I spent those hours before dawn. I must have wandered until the beast who was myself died. When morning came... Jack! Jack! Good Lord, where have you been? We've been searching for you everywhere. Jack! I heard my stepfather's words only dimly. Can you walk? Try to get to your feet. Lisa, fix him some coffee. Yes, coffee. I'm okay, Dad. I'm okay. The house was warm. Lisa, you're crying. What's wrong? She can't answer you, Jack. What? Why not? Your sister's almost hysterical. Dad, tell me, please, what's happening? Tell you. If you'd been here, you'd know. Your mother was almost killed tonight, Jack. She's lucky to be alive. Something went wrong with the brakes of her car. She was searching for you, Jack. Searching for me? And she must have known. And now she may be dying. And it's my fault, all mine. That's one way to see it, son. Please, Mr. Russell, the boys have said it. Let me be with him alone. I wish I could have said something to Dr. Allen. You're mighty tense, lad. You can't blame yourself, you know. I can't? Just watch me, Doc. He gave me a shot. Something to relax me, he said. Just as he was leaving, I heard the phone. Yes, this is Mr. Russell. Unchanged? Yes, I see. But if Mrs. Russell should awaken, please tell her we found Jack. And then it all faded, melting into black. And when I woke, it was mid-afternoon. Mom! Lord, how could I sleep while she... I'd better get down to the hospital, find out how she is. Mrs. Russell? Sorry, son, she's on the critical list. That means no one can see her. No one. Sure, thanks. Somehow I've got to find out where she is. The doctor over there, talking about Mom. That must be her room. I'll just wait, and then... Lord! Jack? Is it you? Yeah, Mom. It's me, the professional prodigal son. What's this? Please, try a smile for Mom. Sure, Mom. Jack! Jack, stop feeling so sorry for yourself. Your father would be ashamed. But 
You never knew what kind of a man he really was. Mom. Don't stop me, Jack. I won't be stopped. This is a, a part of your heritage I always ignored, pretend it didn't exist. But now I'm dying, and you have to be told. Come on, Mom, don't say that. You live longer than me. Jack, you don't understand. I've done you a terrible wrong. I've given you a curse. One that will live with you forever. A curse? I don't understand. How could you? Your father was a fine man. A man I met in a small Baltic state while well, just a student on a holiday abroad. A man I married and bore a son. Ah, Jacob, you're a big lad, eh? Big like your father, bright like your mother. Those first two years were idyllic. Yet even then I could sense some dark secret that stood between us. A secret that blossomed like some wicked fruit once a month. When he would lock himself in the single musty tower and remain there for three days and three nights. He told me he studied his books on those nights. And for two years I tried to believe him. Until that night of the storm, when a bolt of lightning tore out the tower's side. Later that same night, in the village below, the village carpenter made his way homeward through the street. Who's... No! But he never made it home again. Aye, my lady. We need the Baron's aid, we do. Everybody knows he's the most educated man in all the land. Why, he's upstairs in the tower. This way, gentlemen. But he wasn't there, Jack. Gone! The demon must have taken the Baron, too. But on the following night, as the townspeople hunted in the northern woods... There! In the shadows! Something moved. Not just something, Jack, but the hideously deformed caricature of the man those peasants dared call. Werewolf. Though I wasn't there, I could hear the sound of them shooting silver bullets. I can hear that pitiful monster's cry every night, every moment I try to dream. For you see, the men came to me later and told me the horrible secret they'd uncovered. It's him. Lord, it's the Baron. My father... A werewolf? And maybe that explains it all. How could I have told you, Jack? I'd read the family books. Knew it was an hereditary curse. One that you may well have been damned with. You, or even little Lissa. And the curse? To become a man like beast. First on the night of your 18th year. And forevermore, whenever the full moon blooms. Well, Mother... You might as well know what you've probably already guessed. The curse is mine. But why did it happen to our family? Why us? I could stay there no longer. I had to get away. Jack! Blackness blistered inside of me. All I could see was the moon. The moon. Something boiled up within me. An unearthly force tore my mind apart. I was changing into a werewolf once more. As my human mind slipped away, I felt the horror. A horror I would have to live with my whole life. Unless, unless I could find out what had caused the curse. Perhaps then there would be a way out. Would a journey to my father's homeland bring the answers? Twenty hours later and across the large expanse of Transylvania... This is it, Topaz. Rusoff Manor. Among these old books, we're bound to find some of the answers. God knows, maybe all. Jack, come here. I think I've found it. Yes. This is exactly what I've been searching for, Topaz. Here, read this. How my great-great-great-grandfather became the werewolf. It began in 1795. That's a long time ago. Into the night, I read the diary. Words penned by the first member of my family to be stricken by the curse. How I survived this past week, I shall never know. It began. But I now fear the coming of each night. Each full moon for the horrors that it brings me. It began one week before, and when it shall end, I fear I will never know. Baron Rusov, I am sorry, but your wife, she's been slain by the vampire. Louisa killed? By Dracula? He threatened if I did not kneel to his power that I would suffer. I must slay him. Gustav. Lay my wife to rest. I have work that must be done. 
I go to kill the demon. Castle Dracula was unguarded, for there were none in the village below who would have dared venture towards it save I. And so, making my entrance to the fiend's underground chambers was done with ease. You sleep in comfort, do you, Dracula? Then sleep tightly, dark beast, for you shall never waken again. <coughs> Devil screamed as the wooden stake stabbed through his heart. But his scream lasted only one short, breathed moment. For in an instant, there were only ashes where flesh had once been. I threw his coffin in the cold Danube waters below. I thought revenge had been mine. Then I heard a muffled sound, a cry. And heaven help my foolish curiosity, I turned to its source. There was a door sealed with a wooden beam. And idiot that I was, I opened it to find... A girl? Who are you, lass? And why are you imprisoned in this living hell? I am called Lydia, sir. And it was Dracula who placed me here. Damn devil! How long have you been here, girl? One month, sir. And kept alive only as long as my blood pleased him. Live in fear no longer, Lydia. The fiend is dead. We walked beneath the moon and I talked. But my conversation was the last thing she cared about. For as the full silver moon loomed above us, I heard a fierce, slavering growl. A wail from a being, neither human nor animal. And when I turned towards it, I saw the face of my death. Her claws glistened in the moonlight, but it was her eyes that transfixed and paralyzed me as my murderer sank her fangs into my neck. And from that moment on, I was cursed. And, and for, for the, the next, next two nights, nights, beneath the rising full moon, I became a mindless, rampaging werewolf. There's more to read, but not now. But why did Dracula keep a werewolf locked away? What could he fear from it? The diary said... Dracula could not control the beast as he was able to control others. That there was something about her that made her impervious to his commands. Which probably means that Dracula's command won't affect me. And that I'll be the one who'll be able to stop him. Maybe that's it, Topaz. Maybe if I can defeat Dracula, the curse of the werewolf will be broken. You must be careful, Jack. Dracula is very powerful. Looks like I'm going to have company tonight. Unexpected company. I see those two young fools from Rose of Manor wish to enter my castle. Good. <laughs> Very good indeed. Dracula leaps from the tower roof and flies once again as the raven-winged bat. Topaz, run! It's Dracula attacking! But before the girl can move... Topaz! Good Lord, he's taken him. I'll find you, Topaz! Then I swear... As Jack Russell scales the peak to Castle Dracula, he is bathed in the light of the full moon, and Jack Russell once again becomes the werewolf. However, inside the castle... My dear young lady, welcome to my castle. I hope you will enjoy my hospitality. Suddenly, he hears the harsh, guttural growling of the werewolf. What? A beast attacks here in my castle? Now he shall finally perish! The battle begins. Dracula commands the beast to stop, to halt. But this is a new breed of beast. It attacks. Dracula's orders affect it not, for the werewolf bites its ivory fangs deeper and deeper into Dracula's neck. Until Dracula turns, his face burning with bloodthirsty rage, and leaps at the werewolf's throat. Back and forth they writhe in deadly combat. And soon it's obvious, neither can win, but neither will lose. Fight well, werewolf. Take the girl and go, and pray that we never meet again. For the next time, I will not be so kind. Until the next time... <laughs> With that, the bat that once was Dracula rises into the night, and the curse of the werewolf remains bloodied, but unbroken.